What's up guys, Zareth here, and a lot of you have been asking for an add-ons video. So I'll be going over all of my add-ons, step by step, and um, as you can see, I have most of my add-ons set up right now. I have Bagnon, Bagnon config, so this one basically just displays all of your bags in one window, which is really nice. So I have the uh, Bagnon, the Guild Bank, and the Void Storage Bank. So my next add-on is Battleground Targets. Now this is super useful in Battleground situations because it lets you see the opponents and what they are, what spec they are, what level they are if you're leveling, and all sorts of other stuff. So I really recommend this one. It is a great UI to be using in Battlegrounds and it's amazing. So this one is Crit Line and it saves your crit scores for, um, say you're doing even PvE, it'll show you your highest crits and it's also a pretty cool add-on if you want to see your crits. Um, I don't really use debuff filter that much. I haven't really set it up, so... Yep. This one is Doom Cooldown Pulse. This one's really cool because it flashes skills when they're ready in the middle of the screen, so you know when you can use them again. So I like that add-on. That one's really cool. Um, I use Female Announcer. It's just a cool add-on that'll um, announce killing blows and stuff. Uh, this one is Gathermate 2. It'll uh, collect herb mine, gas clouds, archaeology, all those locations, and add them to your mini map and your world map, which is cool for if you're trying to find a route for mining or something. I liked that one when I was leveling my mine in 525. Uh, this one is Gladiator LOS SA. Now, this is the most overpowered add on you can get to date because it will tell you when you are. Tell you, tell you when an enemy uses a cooldown, like it'll say when a Death Knight pops AMS, or if a Pally pops wings or something like that. That so that one's really cool. I guarantee you will love it. Get this one, it's my favorite add-on. This one is a, a little cool add-on called GTFO. It'll uh, It'll make a uh, sound when you're in an area which you're taking AOE damage, and it'll tell you to get out, so I like that one. This one is called Healers Have to Die. Now, every time you ping over a healer, it will make a sound, and it'll go bing, and tell you that you're on a healer, and you have to kill it. <laughs> uh, this one is Inspect Fix. I don't really use that one. Mature Language Filter Off, just so I don't have to keep shutting it off in the uh, in the settings. This one is mixed scrolling battle text. Now that's the nifty little UI that I have which will tell you your um, it'll tell you your damage and all that stuff, notifications. It's pretty cool. I like that one. And uh, later on I'll show you how to set it up and stuff. It's basic. You can use the base settings. They're pretty cool. Need to know. Now when you look at my DK I have um, I have it set up for when things proc right near the bottom down by the uh, add-on bar, I mean the uh, action bar. It'll show you my trinket when I pop it, what the cooldown is, and uh, on my warrior it'll show when landslide procs, all that stuff. It's pretty cool. So I'll show you guys how to set that one up later. Nice damage is just a damage add-on, so I can... it's a, basically a font. One bag three is a replacement for the default game bags, and it combines all the bags into one frame, which is pretty useful. Quartz is a casting bar that I put near my character, so I can see when people are casting stuff, so I can interrupt. Uh, recount is for PvE. It'll check your DPS and your damage. It's pretty cool. Uh, safe queue. So this one's cool for BGs, because whenever a BG queue pops, it will take out the leave queue because the other day I accidentally clicked leave queue when I meant to click something else and I was in a 25 minute queue so I had to do that all over again and it just ticked me off so I got this one now this one is a say sapped add-on that will say when you're sapped to uh, nearby players which is cool so this one is sexy map it is an awesome add-on it's basically it replaces the uh, default mini map icon and I like it because you can you can set it up and customize it any way you want. So that one's easy. You can usually use the default setup, which is pretty cool. Uh, simple interrupt announce. It will say when you interrupt someone. Like sometimes in my videos you'll see interrupted flash heal or something like that. 
Um, I also use Titan, Titan Panel for mining and the bag and all that stuff because on the top it'll show like the time and leveling and all that stuff. It's a pretty useful add-on. So I think that's about most of the add-ons I use, the Titan Panel. I also use Zygor Guides for um, leveling because I hate leveling. Leveling is like, literally the worst thing for me. I've gotten 485s with it and I love it. So it is definitely worth the money if you pay for it. So I definitely recommend that one guys. Check it out. So guys, this is how you configure Need to Know. So you go into your add-ons folder on the interface tab and uh, you press Need to Know. And then you activate group one, three bars or however many bars you need. Go into config mode, press OK. So I have predatory swiftness set up right now. So if you want to get that set up, you'd go enable bar, choose buff, debuff to time, type in predatory swiftness like I did there. I'll just do it again. Predatory swiftness. Press accept. And then you'd right click it. And then it'd say buff, debuff, totem, spell cooldown, whichever one it is, you click. If it's a uh, cooldown, you'd go cooldown and then internal cooldown settings, cooldown duration, and set the duration. But this is a buff. So now whenever it procs, it will be whatever color you want it to be. You can change the color. I like mine to be nice green. This one can be red just cuz. So now whenever it procs, it will show how long it's procced for and whatnot. And then you press, press, play, mode, press play mode. And um, so I'm going to cat form. Let's test this out. So let's see if we can get five. Alright. There's one, two, Hoping it doesn't get dodged or parried when I try the finisher. Okay, there's five. So is this a finisher? Nope. Nope. That's the finisher. So now predatory swiftness procs for five seconds. So that's how you set up the uh, need to know bars. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.